Rise of the Ronin is a game being made by Team Ninja for PlayStation in a second party capacity. That means the PlayStation Studios name is slapped on this one and it is a exclusive game. Now when we were first shown this very early on in the PS5 life cycle in a showcase, this thing gave me Ghost of Tsushima vibes. It had that kind of open world kind of like, uh, I don't want to say checklist, but it kind of is kind of like checklist kind of gameplay mixed in with everything that's awesome about being a Ronin and a Japanese setting, of course. That's where they're from. But now it's time for this game to come out and we got trophies to cover. They've been leaked a little bit early. This game is not coming out till later in the month, but we can talk about them now. Power Picks has it on the site right now. We got that nice paragraph to summarize it all. And it says here, the list looks mostly completion based. We need the following collectibles and side activities. 50 fugitives, all bond missions, all allies, all weapons, all photographs, all cats. Cats are good. All missions without allies. It appears the only difficulty related trophy is Midnight Crossing for completing an optional Ronin mission with the Midnight difficulty setting enabled. The rest seems to be doable on any difficulty. Okay, interesting. And it goes on here to say we must also master the dojo, horseback, archery, gliding, training, firearms. From the trophy list, we also know there will be three chapters and there are romantic relationships. Interesting. So this is looking like more of a Ghost of Tsushima type of experience because this is being made by Team Ninja who also made Neo, Neo 2, Wolong. I thought this game was going to be more on that side of things, which is more Souls-like. But it looks like this is more on the kind of like Ghost of Tsushima type of game. Uh, maybe there might be a little bit of influence from Neo and Wolong in this, but it is looking more of the um, open world checklist kind of game. So let's check out some of these trophies individually. Midnight Crossing, complete an optional Ronin mission with the Midnight difficulty setting enabled. So the rest of the game you'll be able to do on any difficulty, but it looks like you just have one to do on Midnight difficulty. I don't know if that's the hardest difficulty, possibly. Sounds like it is. Usually the hardest difficulty gets a fancy name. That's probably one of them. And then there are a lot of um, story missions I noticed that I don't really want to get into. We're not going to talk about them. And there's chapter missions. And then there's stuff like uh, Veiled Vow, started your first romantic relationship. And also here, Fateful Encounter, achieve your first level four personal bond. Achieved your first level three area bond. And that's for the home sweet home trophy. So it looks like you have relationships and then you have like friendships kind of bonds with certain characters in the game and certain places in the game. So I imagine this is kind of like bases maybe. You have to uh, build up your camaraderie with these places. Uh, and I assume that's by doing certain missions for them or uh, making friends with certain people. It looks like there's a whole social aspect uh, to this game and that's very cool. I think that's very interesting. Now there are firearms in this game. Um, I think this game takes place um, later in the kind of like whole feudal Japan timeline. Of course, here we go. We have the um, achieve the highest rank master at the dojo, achieve the highest rank master at horseback archery, achieve, uh, received the highest rank master in gliding training, received the highest rank master in firearms training. Now, I don't know what it takes to get the master ranks in this. It could be insanely difficult, which bumps the rating of the whole platinum experience up, or it could be like you finish a whole bunch of objectives while you're doing it and that gives you the master ranking. I don't know, we'll have to find out when the game comes out, but it could it could potentially skyrocket the, skyrocket the difficulty of this. Uh, it depends on how it works. 
you got lots of milestone trophies. Succeed in carrying out 100 assassinations for the Shadow Stalker trophy. Keeper of the Peace defeated 50 fugitives. So that's part of what uh, they listed before. Um, had 50 chance encounters. Uh, maybe that's tied to the fugitives. Could be. Uh, completed all bond missions. This is looking very Ghost of Tsushima like in a later timeline in the feudal Japan era. Um, and I think this game looks awesome. I'm tempted to check it out, although I am working on something else for a very big video. Um, but this game is looking absolutely great. I think the, the second party uh, games that we're getting this year are absolutely going to save PlayStation's year if they're not going to put out uh, their first party games. A lot of them are delayed and still being worked on. So. Helldivers 2 is doing incredible. This looks like it's going to be an incredible game. And then you got Stellar Blade in April, which is insane. The second party, they're the goats. They're the goats of this year for PlayStation. You owe them big time. Let me know down in the comment section if you're going to check this one out. I think I might bend. We'll see. We'll see when the time comes later this month uh, what I'm up to. But let me know if you guys are going to get the platinum for this one. I hope all your trophy hunting expeditions as a ronin with firearms that's sick goes incredibly well. And peace out.